Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So if you're not using routines on your Amazon Echo device, you are really missing out on some cool tricks. So to set up a routine on your Amazon Echo device, first you have to do it from the Amazon app. Once you get into the app, you wanna go to those three lines on your left and you'll see a menu of stuff that you can access. On that menu, you have your routines. So far, I have a few routines that I've made over time, but say you want to set up a new routine, you would have to click that plus sign on the top right side. After clicking that plus sign, you'll be presented with a list of things that you can do. So first you want to click when this happens. So once you click when this happened, you'll get a choice of voice, schedule, device, location, and echo button. So let's break them down one by one. First, you're going to click on voice. Voice will give you the option to choose whatever you want happen when you say whatever. So you can say welcome home and then a set of stuff happen like the air condition comes on, the light comes on, your TV get turns on, whatever the routines are. But you'd have to have these things pre-set up in advance. For instance, you would need a smart thermostat in order for the air condition to come on. You would need a device that turns your TV on and stuff like that. So if you have those smart devices, you can have a whole bunch of stuff happen by just one command. And that's the actual voice part of it. Or you can make things happen when you go to bed or when you're getting ready to take a shower or whatever the case may be. That's when you would use the voice option for that sake. So now let's go back to the menu. Now let's choose the next one that says schedule. Like you can have something happen at a certain time of the day and you can have it repeat every single day or every single Monday or every single Tuesday, whichever way you want it to be. So to set this one up, you would first choose your time. Now my time said military time based on my time on my phone, but yours might say AM or PM. So I'm just going by military time because I'm used to that. And I want it to happen at 9 PM every single day. So I would say, okay. So then I would say I want it to repeat every single day. So I already have it weekdays, but I'm gonna say weekdays instead of every days. How about that? Click done, then I'm gonna click next. Now I'm gonna add an action because I want this to happen at 9 p.m. every single weekdays. So I'm gonna click on action. Now I can choose from a list of stuff I want to happen at 9 p.m. every single day. So I have the choice of having my Amazon Echo device say something. I can add something to calendar, device, message, music, news, make a smart home device do something by clicking the smart home, traffic, weight, weather. So I have access to all the stuff of choices that I can choose from. And say I want to do a message. I can actually send a message to a family member if I want to by saying good night or whatever I wanted to say. Or I can get the latest news by choosing the news option. So all the stuff you have access to, you know, you got music I can choose from and I can choose to play a song, artist or playlist from a selected provider that I already have installed on my phone. So right now I have Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, my own library, Pandora and TuneIn. So those are the stuff you can have happen at a certain times and that's on the schedule so next on the list i have devices so when you choose a device now this is what's going to happen whenever device trigger something else so in my previous video i did one with the door sensor so if the door sensor was open then my amazon echo will say the door is open based on the condition i wanted to say after the door opens so based on the devices that you have set up with your Amazon Echo is the ones you can choose from as far as devices. So I only have door sensors and doorbell right now and my door lock, but you might have more or less. It all depends on what you have. But if you choose the device, it'll let you know what you can do with that option. Right next to device, you have location. So on your location options, you have the choice of setting up what happens when you arrive or when you leave. For instance, when you arrive home, you can have it set to where the TV comes on, the air condition sets itself on, or whatever happens when you arrive home. And it's all based on your phone. So when your phone is in that geolocation area, then that's what's going to trigger it. So when you leave, you can have things happen also. You can have it set your alarm or turn off your smart thermostat. 
So you have those options to put in there if you choose to do so. Now under arrivals, you don't have to actually put your home address. You can use your work address also. So you can send a message to your significant other to let them know that you made it to work safely. And the device is going to do that for you because once you get to work, it's going to automatically send it even if you forgot to check in if you choose to do so. Or you can set it up to when you're actually leaving work to say you're on your way home and send that notification to your significant other. Now the last option on this list is the Echo button. Now that's something you'd have to purchase through Amazon and once you get the button you can use it to do various things. I mean turn off a bunch of lights, order stuff, whatever you want it to do. I personally don't have those buttons so I can't even demonstrate that feature to you but that's what it does if you decide to go that route. So there you have it. Those are the list of routines that you can perform with your Amazon Echo devices. And those are examples that I give to you. Now I can show you some of my routines that I have set up. Now this first one that says doorbell pressed is for my outside lights. That's the front lights. So if somebody pressed the doorbell between 7 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., the light is going to come on at 75%. So that first one, based on the option that you see, that's a device setup. Next one is a schedule setup. So every day at 10 p.m., the Amazon Echo is going to let me know it's time for bed. It's time to start shutting things down and head to bed. It's bedtime, basically. And she's going to say that on the studio Echo, the one that's in my studio. The next one on the list is a voice command routine. So if I say watchtower, she's going to turn on the front and back lights at 100% because sometimes you hear strange noise outside and you go to click on all the lights to see what's going on out there. Well with this routine she's going to turn on all the lights for me and I don't have to keep running to all the switches to turn on the lights. The next one that says it's time for bed. Now this is a combination routine right here so when I tell her it's time for bed she's going to turn on the bedroom lights, turn off the studio lights, turn off the computer switches and turn on the bedroom TV. So all of this is going to happen on one voice command. The next one is another voice command that I created. Now the cool thing about the voice command, you can type whatever you want it to be. It's your choice of words. You don't have to choose from a pre-list of already typed up words. You type in whatever you wanted to say and that's what you use for your commands. So the trouble in paradise voice command is, you know, sometimes you hear strange noises and you don't know what it is. Well, with this command, she will turn on all the lights outside and inside at 100% and I don't have to worry about fumbling in the dark to see what's going on. So those are examples of some of the routines that I have set up. There's a couple more that I can go down, but you know, you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. So when you go into your setup, you want to choose a voice if you want to do a voice command. You want to set up a schedule if you want her to do something at a certain time. You want to do your devices if you want the device to trigger something else to happen and your location based on if you're leaving or coming or even if you're arriving somewhere else or leaving somewhere else. And you have the choice to get the echo buttons if you want to, to press the button and make things happen based on the routines that you have set up for that button. So there you have it. Those are the routines that's built into your Amazon Echo. And like I said, you access them through the app, set them up, you give her the command after you finish setting them up and she's going to perform those routines beautifully. So you can set up those different scenarios if you really wanted to. You can wake up to a certain radio station or you can have lights come on at a certain time in the morning to kind of like help you get up. And you can set them to whatever percentage you want to set them to. The bedroom lights, you can have the iron hooked up to a smart switch and have the iron come on in the morning or the evening, depends on what time you like to do your ironing. You can have her automatically set the alarm at night because I have her set it because sometimes I forget to set the alarm and uh, you know, it'd be wee hours in the morning and I'll remember it, but she will set the alarm for me automatically at a certain time of the evening and I don't have to worry about it. So those are the kind of routines you can think about. So go through your smart home setup and set up your routine so you don't have to do so much work because these devices are so smart now that they can take care of all of that automated stuff for you without even you blinking an eye. And like I said, think of all the stuff that you can make happen. Start the coffee maker in the morning. This, the sky's the limit. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.